Hi, this is Michael from DNA and in the next few minutes we're going to learn about how you can change your referencing style in Zotero once you've already applied it into a Word document. The students that I've worked with in relation to dyslexia say that they really like this tool because it enables you to change your bibliographic style. So if you've been told that you need to change the way that you're referencing, it means that you don't have to dig into the formatting too much. Zotero can support you to change it effortlessly. Okay, so here we are in Firefox. Uh, this is Firefox on a Windows uh, PC. So if you have Zotero installed, you should see the little Z in the corner of your browser. And if you click on that, we can then go down to the little cog, the Actions button. And then from within there, we're going to click on Preferences. Now, just make sure that you've got Site selected at the top of the Zotero Preferences box. And then here where we've got word processors and styles we're going to click on styles and here we can see all the different styles that we have installed into Zotero at the moment now from within this window we've got this link to get additional styles and clicking on that is going to open a brand new website in Firefox and this is the Zotero style repository where you can search for numerous different types of styles. So to give you an idea of the range of different styles it has, if I just choose one citation style like Harvard and do a search for that, we'll find that there are 53 different types of Harvard and there might be one specific to your university as well. So sometimes this is a good way to search by the type of uh, referencing style to see if your university pops up in there. Or of course you can search for your university name as well. In fact what we're going to do now is we're going to search for King's and see what comes up. Okay so we've got one referencing style Harvard for King's College London. Now when you have this list visible if you hover over any of these citation styles you get a preview to show you what it looks like. And if we look at this uh, kind of preview here we can see that it's actually got brackets around the dates. So I'm going to use this to demonstrate how you can quickly change styles and how this works in Word. First of all I'm going to install it just by clicking on it. So we have a box that's popped up here, install the Harvard style, yes we're going to do that and that should automatically install that into Zotero. We're going to pop back into Word here and we're going to choose the add-ins button at the top of the screen. If you're using an Apple Mac computer you should already see a little box popped out with these controls in it but if you're in Word on a PC you'll need to click on this add-ins button and we're going to choose a control which allows us to set the document preferences. Now when you first added a citation in Zotero this window will have popped up and what this allows us to do is if you've already got an essay written we can now scroll through and find different citation styles and change the way that the reference list looks. So if you just have a look at the reference list at the bottom of the screen we can see the format that it's in there and we're going to now change it so that it's Harvard King's College London. When I click on OK now you can see that the date in the reference has got brackets around it and the formatting has changed. So you know, it looks slightly different because it's a slightly different form of Harvard. Now to give you uh, an additional example we're going to go back and change the referencing style again and this time we're going to set it to Chicago Manual of Style. We're going to have a look and see what this looks like. So this is very different now. Again the reference list has changed and this referencing style calls for numbers where you put a citation in on your Word document. So really very very easy to change the referencing style and very easy to find new styles that are appropriate to whatever your tutors have asked you to show in your essays.